Thank you. <laughs> they don't belong to me. I mean, they are, they are, they are mine. I, I took them, but belong to the people of Mexico. Exactly. I, have, I, I want to tell you about an experience we had with a charanga in Veracruz, with classical musicians. Because uh, the vi violinists, they, 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 ha they had to like do this, you know, like guajeo, yeah? But the classical musicians, they always ask, how many times should I? <laughs> like, you, you, you are, you are a percussion instrument now. You have to be there and, and, and be part, part of, the, of the flow. Yeah, so, so just keep doing it until I tell you not to. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> Feel it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Right. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Right. No. Right. I didn't. Yeah. I. Well, I have a lot of. I had a lot to say and I ran out of time. Um, <laughs> You've all been there, um, uh, and I, right, that's what I'm talking about. It's dangerous, but, but I, it's in dialogue with other things. I mean, at the same time we were doing this, there, you know, we're, part of what we're doing, at the very least, is recognizing the places where people curriculum or the way we teach you know that's one space of activism but at the same time we're also changing the way that social just there are other gatherings of bodies that are happening and they're happening in terms of gatherings for protests and talking about black lives matter and indigenous lives matter and trans lives matter and when it matters we have to be able at first to just recognize and name bodies and to give to treat these traditions seriously. And um, I don't know, it's th within that group of students, it's not a, predo it's a predominantly white institution and there are very few people of color, like less than 20% probably at the whole institution. And that's probably true in that group of students. Um, yeah, it's, it's big, that's a big thing. But what I'm what I'm seeing is that even in the African diaspora forms like jazz and and hip hop is that there's a body orientation. It's like in um, and it it's deep, right? But th it's this neutral the new this the neutral body is racialized, 
and it's it's like the ornaments on the the styles become ornaments on top of it and that and it, but it, it it's not necessarily a ballet body but it's yeah it's And some of this is the, the historical structure of curricula. And um, I want, just want to tell you about Delia Braganza, who in one quarter would take 18th century dance, um, West African dance, <laughs> you know, and ballet. And she would go from genre to genre. And um, this is um, the hired dancer, too, a concept that Susan Foster has written about. Um, and at the time she originally wrote about that, she kind of bemoaned the, la the lack of deep-seatedness in whichever of the genre you're performing in favor of the being able to switch. So you get and you give, <laughs> yeah. But um, it, this is the pivot. And um, dance departments largely entered the academy in the US on the basis of modern dance. So that, you know, that riptide <laughs> is slowly playing out. The Huasteca is very complicated just because there are five different indigenous groups. 40% of the population is indigenous and 60 are mestizo, usually overpowering the mestizo, o overpowering the indigenous. Um, they don't talk about, so there is a, it's not that everyone has a one religion. I say, I would say that it's a, a spirituality that they follow that has, mm, it's a mixture, yeah. It comes from the entire concept of Mesoamerica and the connection of um, indigenous people with other indigenous groups, you know, in Central America and in the entire Mesoamerica region. So um, there is many people say that certain parts of the Huasteca will never conquer because it's so mountainous and it's lush and it's just so difficult to reach that if you go there, um, so but it's a mixture, it's a mixture of Catholicism and indigenous beliefs so they they um, worship virgen de guadalupe but they work they go to the um, to the caves and they worship um the water and the and and um and the air and they do ceremonies for the land and um if you go to a celebration december 12th up north in veracruz you are going to see a procession in which you will see the following three people they want three men the the one in the center carrying the the mexican flag Behind is the violinist with a trio, so Jarana Huasteca, Huapanguera, uh, and violinist playing music that are called uh, Xochitine, that are danced traditional by men dressed on indigenous clothing. So you hear the violin, the, the acoustic sound of the, of the you know, string instruments. They are followed by a brass band. Okay, so just imagine, imagine the acoustic. The, ima the images, 
um, brass bands are huge in the Huasteca region, following by the, um, the, the, the image of Virgen de Guadalupe, really beautiful with flowers, how everything is colorful in the Huasteca, white with colors, and followed by women who can wear their rebosos on their head, or if they are not rebosos, they can wear um, um, just a, like a, what you see in the second picture, in l like a towel carry carrying candles. And at the end of that, n at the beginning of that procession, with tho those women, they are singing Catholic hymns. And at the very end of that is another brass band playing was the playing sones, sones that can be cumbia made into a son with a very tippy, mm, very young people with jeans and with very tippy. So Huasteca is not about you know purity or traditional clothing, it's about this mixed, infinite mixed that is happening. And so anyway, to make it short, it's more something spiritual, something like a religion that they have. It's just spirituality every is everywhere in many senses in the Huasteca. Yeah. And Exactly. <laughs>